Hi guys, welcome back to the Kilbo Long family channel. We're here with another food shop, just Aldi this week. Last time we did Tesco, and also in today's video, Eliza is making an appearance. We're gonna start doing our shopping on the weekends instead of a Thursday, instead of a Thursday, which we've, you would have seen that we've done before. Um, but um, yeah, we're gonna start doing that. So, a bit busier up there today, um, compared to the usual. Probably because uh, it's Sunday. It, I think it is because it's a Sunday. Yeah. It was crazy. There wasn't even any trolleys outside. I know. There? I was like, Ooh. that's it. Right. So as usual, guys, prices will be up here, and uh, yeah, we we got a lot for our money. We spent under one hundred and fifty pounds. I think it was a hundred and twenty something pounds or another. But yeah, let's have a look at what it is that we got today. Now, normally we usually have a freezer bag, but instead we've got it all out, and we do have a middle aisle purchase of the week. But I actually can't see it, so if I do see it, I'm going to try and move it out of the shop until the end of the video. Anyway, let's have a look. So we'll start off with standard basic, guys. We've got a double... Milk. A double... Yeah, we've got two lots today because we managed, we went out yesterday to the little corner shop and got a little... Um, a little one. Now, normally these were £1.45. I don't think they've gone up in price. I can't remember, but when I go back through this video and put the prices up... Uh, we'll soon see if it's gone up. So I'm saying it's one pound forty-five. Hopefully, it's the same price. Because as much as you check it with the milk, they haven't always got it labelled. Uh, the next thing we got, guys, was a couple of apple juices. I think yesterday you were fancying apple juice. I did fancy apple juice, and we didn't have any in, did we? So because we've, we've had to make the shopping last a little bit longer. And um, what we've got here, Eliza? <laughs> yeah. Iced coffee, cappuccino one. Mm -mm. Um, last week we had the, the stronger one, uh, no, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. Um, we had the espresso one, but they didn't have any of the cappuccino one in, but they do today, this time, so we got two lots. Right, let's pop them down. Uh, we also got two lots of the squashes, guys, because uh, the kids do go through these, don't you? Yeah. Alright. Uh, we picked up some triple action toothpaste. Jen's picked up some deodorant roll on. She has got some of the spray one left, but she was. I said to her, have you run out of that already? And she said, well, actually, she just prefers the uh, roll on. So that's what we got. Lucas uh, picked up a tin of marrow fat peas. <laughs> that's what he wanted to pick up. Uh, we've got some gravy granules. Yay, gravy. I love to lick it. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> some blueberries. Blueberries. <laughs> I like them in yogurt. Yeah, that's very nice, Eliza. Uh, right, we've got some hot pepperoni, salami slices, but you can have like wraps with them, can't you, Eliza? And eat them by itself. And eat them by themselves. Yeah. Uh, some twisted fruits. Last time we got Professor Pepe, didn't we? Yeah. So we've got the twisted fruits this time. Uh, we've not had this before, guys. The chicken king kebab. We've had the other one, six pounds something, I think it is. Uh, we really like it in the uh, in the garlic nans. We've, as I say, we've not had this one. Hopefully, it's nice and not and not too dry. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we picked up some cauliflower. Lucas was like, "Oh, is that open?" Then mum, mum was like, "That's meant to be open." That's it, it's not open, it's got to be fresh. Uh, Jay, Eliza, what about your little uh, dessert, stro dessert strawberry cupcakes? Okay, you picked those. Because you wanted them. Let's yes. have a look at them. There we go. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Right, we decided Easter's coming out. All the shops have got the Easter eggs in. We decided to start slow and just get a couple each week. So we've got a twirl one and a... Dairy milk buttons one, so we'll put them away ready for Easter. And next week, Eliza, you because Lucas chose them ones, you can choose the next ones. Um, we picked up some of the British cooked ham, normally one pound ninety five. I'm not sure if it's still that. I say normally that's the reduced price, and often that's reduced quite often. I'm not sure if it was still reduced. Broccoli. One by. Broccoli. <laughs> no more broccoli. Right, we have some chocolate mousse. We didn't pick up any of the little yogurts this week because we have still got loads of them from last week. Last time, because last time I bought two lots and we'd already had one lot still in the fridge. So we've got plenty of them, so we didn't need to get any more of them. Uh, Jen's picked up some of the chop pots. Light. 
and three lots of these strawberry and granola granola uh, yogurt-y things. She's got three of those. Are they all the same? No, she's got a mango, a strawberry and a blueberry one. So three different flavours there. Uh, one tin of baked beans this week because we had two and we've only used one so we only needed to get one. Now last week we had the red Aldi versions of penguins, the steel bars, the normal ones. So this time we got mint ones. I thought you'd feel that face, Eliza. I thought you would. And where would we be if we didn't get meat stirs? Now there should be another. But while I'm here, I'm gonna. Ha there's, I can see the mini lion purchase of the week, so I'm just gonna hide it like this. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. We need to find the. Oh, there it is. There's the other meat stirs. There we go. So two lots of them, as usual. And I know what to do next. What do you want to do? You choose. Oh, yeah, yes. cat food. So again, we have to get this quite often. Yesterday, we had to go to the corner shop and get a little one because, like I said, we do it every week, but we just had to make it stretch a little bit further this week. And there was just a few little things that we ran out of, milk being one, cat food being the other. Right. Yesterday, we found a cat in our garden. Uh, we did, there was another cat, but we, yeah. we had to go around looking for this missing poster that was there, yeah. didn't we? And um, to see if we could find out to locate who's is. Now I can see Marshall in the garden right now, but he's not looking. Don't swing on there. Okay. I don't think he's looking at anything particular, another cat, so I just thought I would check that just in case it was nearby. Anyway, back home by the hole, uh, we have flaming Hot Chicken Strips. And we have some surface cleaner. This one's pretty good. It does the job. Oh, to clean the birds' things. Yeah, like, the things that, yeah. yeah, and the surfaces and everything else. Yeah. Um, we have ibuprofen. This was reduced from 42p to 40p. So, got some of those. And we did actually pick up some paracetamol as well somewhere. Don't know where they've gone. But they'll be about somewhere, guys. Uh, some bananas. Bibs. Yep, some baby bibs for Bonnie. Some uh, the dribble bibs. You get a pack of three in there. And we've got a blue one, a white one, and a pink one. Uh, we have some dip it cheese dip with crackers. We've only got one of those. Oh. What are you picking up? Potatoes. potatoes. Maris Piper potatoes. I like. Some mini rolls. Dairy fine ones. We have some fibre now. You get five in a packet, lemon drizzle. They look like cereal bars. Yeah, Not no, but... they're really good. I tried uh, them before. Are they nice? Yeah, they're like little cake bars. Ah, cool. Some home style chips. Probably meant to be like the Aldi McCain ones. Uh, we have some spaghetti. Oh, a little pack of spaghetti bolognese. For, me. Was, for you, is it? Yeah. I didn't see that going. Mummy does make her own ones, but I take it that was for football nights, just for quickness. Yes. I think that makes sense. Wait, is there chicken nuggets? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I actually don't know. But we've got some coconut noodles. So we've got two lots of the stir fry ones and four lots of the vegetable ones. So these were also on middle aisle, but they're not middle aisle purchase of the week. Um, the same with the bibs. They were also middle aisle, but again, not middle aisle purchase of the week. There's the paracetamol, guys. I think they were 39p or something like that. Uh, right. Let's do the pizza in a minute. Let's do these ones. Right, so we found these. These are brand new out. Look, you get 15 lollies in a packet. Uh, it says that you get two of the chocolate carnivals, two mint carnivals, three ice blitz, two uh, milk, uh, three milkshake lollies, and three chopsticks. But you can see they just look like the, uh, what you call them, the milk. The milk cars, or whatever they call them, the fabs, the knobbly bobblies, the mint, the feasts, and the mint one. So it's just their version of them, but they are new out. And I actually think it's about time they did like a 15 in a pack. They're probably just little ones, but I don't think I've ever seen like a mix and match of different of their, their, their yeah. different chocolate lollies on in the one box. So I thought we had to get them. That's absolutely brilliant. Really good. I think yeah. it was like three pounds something. But again, the prices are up there, guys. 
Wait, is it? Is We've done the potatoes. Right, normally we get the red label tea bags. The red label tea bags are absolutely fine. They taste just as good as the top brands, but they didn't have any in today. And they only had the big Tetleys and the big Yorkshire teas. The only small ones that they had was the PG Tips pack of 80. And so they were two pounds something. So we just grabbed these. We didn't need to spend four pound on a big load of tea bags. Cause I only have one in the morning, a cup of tea in the morning. Jen seems to drink tea more so throughout the day, but not as much as I drink coffee. So yeah, some PG tips. Done the chips, sweetheart. Uh, we've got some uh, Nord, Nord Pack soft spread. Uh, standard basic, some sugar. Uh, we got some peanut butter. You like your peanut butter, don't you? Or is it Lucas? Uh, no, it's me. You and Lucas. I'm not a fan. Mind you, I don't mind the crunchy, but that's smooth. That's crap smoother. So we've got these for Bonnie again. Now, we, normally when I do the prices for these, they're really like all over the place because they look the same, but they're all different things really. So we've got the blueberry and pear breakfast, strawberry Greek style yogurt, banana breakfast, and berry Greek style yogurt. So we've got those for Bonnie and some stress therapy, uh, rosemary bath soak. Right, wraps. Now, we've got these. Jen reckons that she thinks that these seem to have got smaller since the earlier shots. I don't think they've got smaller, but I definitely think they're not as, they're not as soft as they used to be. So maybe they have got smaller and it's caused a chemical reaction or a chemical situation where they've used the same ingredients, which has not have made them as soft. I don't know, but you know, they always go, don't they? You like yeah. your wraps for your lunch? Ah, right, pizzas, let's have a look. Well, we've got pizzas. Again, I'm not a fan of the pizzas, wishing, uh, but Lucas and Eliza like them. Wishing there was pepper, they're wishing there was, um, um, pineapple. Yeah. Disgusting. Nice. No, Disgusting. Not. Pineapple on pizza. If you no. think pineapple should be on pizza, you leave us a comment. Oh, I'd love to see the poll on this, Eliza. So I'm a no with pineapple on pizza. You're a yes with pineapple on pizza. If, if you like pineapple on pizza, like and comment. No, like and comment if you don't like pe pineapple on uh, the pizza. Uh, no. Okay, then then subscribe if you like pineapple on pizza. Well. No, just let us know in the comments whether you think. It'd be interesting to see that as a poll. Anyway, we've got the margarita pizza and the double pepperoni pizza. Uh, excellent. Right, what have we got? Oh, we've got a cucumber. cucumber. We have a cucumber. Cucumbers are good. They are nice. And we've got some fish fingers, because they're all gone this week. Lucas picked up some Haribo Super Mini Mix. There we go, a little pack of those. Uh, 24 chicken. Oh, there you go, Eliza. That's what you wanted. Yeah, The chicken want... dippers. Uh, again, a quick, easy, quick, easy oh, meal. Some cheese curls. Eliza, can you start handing me some bits and bobs? Oh, actually, yeah, they're the Maris Piper ones. The other ones are the baked potatoes. So there's the curly, the curly chicken curly thing. A uh, nice big jar of coffee. We're already running low on that. That's all right. That's it. Right, there we go. So there's the baked potato. Now, some of our late, some of our recent videos, we've got just the single ones that were 23p. Um, but Jane's gone and picked up a, a pack. Now, actually, I don't know how many you get in this if it's done by weight. I'm making a feel. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potatoes. So if you was to do eight times 23, uh, something like a pound. I don't know, a pound sixty something. I can't, I can't exactly, I'm not sure exactly right, but it would be interesting. One pound sixty something if you got the individual ones, eight of the individual ones. Yeah. Or is it less to have these? But I can't remember the price, so I'm sure we'll check when we do this video. When we edit this video, what have you got here? A big block of cheese. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> and One you've got, you've, you've got your toasted waffles. Uh, what else? A curry, a chicken vindaloo. A chicken vindaloo. And here's another one. Another chicken vindaloo. And what else have we got here? Two lots of bacon. So, right, I will say one second, Eliza. So with these, this bacon, it does actually say 10 on there, all right? But on the back, I know, well, last time I had some, I noticed we only had nine. But it actually says, we can see that on the camera, but it says 10 smoked bad bacon mashers with added, with added water average 10 rashers to achieve 300 grams so if the slices are a little bit thicker you might find you only get nine or eight so 
Uh, yeah, I only discovered that last time when I was out of in a minute. Why is there only nine? Uh, what have we got here? We have a garlic baguette. It's two of them, so that'd be nice with the pasta. Eliza, can we have the bread? Oh, I forgot about the bread. So this bread was, Eliza, Lucas chose the brown bread. That was uh, 45p, I believe, and the normal one that we normally get, 75 pounds. I don't like... I don't like the brown bread. No, I know you don't like the brown bread, but Lucas likes the brown bread. Right, guys, that is it for the haul. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you Middle Isle Purchase of the Week. Right, so we're back with Middle Isle Purchase of the Week. Now, it's only a little one, but I couldn't resist getting them. Um, can't remember the price now. I think they were £3 something for these. So it was literally a pair of scissors. But they're multi-purpose ones. So I don't know if you can see on the back here, it's got a little picture and it. it's got good for nails, paper, uh, string, I think that's string, like thread in, and look, weeds. It does weeds as well, or like garden, so, so. Since it's orange and black, Lucas was obsessed with them. Well, yeah, they did do different colors, but I went yeah. for the orange and black, and also we needed a new pair of scissors anyway. So, and they're quite, like, there you go, look. Uh, multi-use, you've got the different colours there, orange, the blue and the purple. And if, they, they, I mean, I put my fingers in it like that, they feel comfortable and they're nice and light. Wait, let me so, okay, be careful, well, they're in the thing, but be careful. But yeah, they're called grippy ones, so I thought like that would be a good idea. Jen agreed with it, and I think it's got a, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah. Handy, very handy indeed. So guys, that is it for today's haul. I think we got a lot for our money, don't you? Yeah. Um, finally this should last a week. Yes. And I think this is shopping haul 39, 39 or 40. I'm going to have to have a look. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, guys, thanks again to those who have subscribed to our channel this week. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, as I say, it's not always Aldi. It's Aldi most of the time, but it's not always Aldi. And we try to get other um, other uh, shops in as well. Sometimes we've done a couple of clothes shop, a couple of clothing shops. And sometimes, you know, we've got family days out that we've yeah. done, haven't we? Uh, and unboxing but predominantly we're doing the shopping so yeah. but yeah that's it for today guys um thanks again for watching and we'll see you again on the next video tara for now from me and eliza bye 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 bye